All right, in this video, we are going to go over Apple Maps in iOS 7. So go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it automatically put me in the 3D view uh, on the basic map view. Um, we'll go ahead and start down here on the bottom left. This is, let's say you're over here, you click that. This is kind of the, the find you thing that was going to send you, center you on the main screen. Um, you click 3D, going back and forth between the 3D aspects. I'll leave 3D off for a second. The share feature, you can add a bookmark to wherever you are. Uh, you can message your location, share it on Twitter, Facebook, email it, or you can airdrop it. Uh, the next thing is your information button, and this will switch you between standard, hybrid, or satellite. Uh, the difference between hybrid and satellite, hybrid is just a satellite view with road layouts, road names, numbers, so it's pretty easy to use. Uh, drop pin, you could drop a pin, so it dropped it right where I'm at, but you can, let's say you want it to be right here, you could drop that pin, gives you the address, you can hit info on that exact location, it pulls it up, actual address, you can do directions to and from there. Transit directions are going to be your bus directions. I'm going to click that. Um, see, it gave you the bus route, so it gave you the closest um, kind of route to where you're going. Um, we'll go ahead and click cancel on that. Click that button again, info. Uh, you can add a con to create a new contact out of this location. You can remove the pin, add a bookmark, report a problem. So I'm going to hit remove pin. Um, going back to here, you could print the map, report a problem, show traffic. Let's see, let show traffic. So um, between Federal and Zuni on 38th Avenue here, it's got bad traffic. That's what the red line is. And if you look down here, you can see the orange line on Federal. And that just means it's a little bit slower, but it's not as bad as red. Um, now going back to here, that's pretty much it. You can go back on the standard view. Um, We'll go ahead and click on bookmarks. So there's just these different places that uh, you've looked, your friends' houses. You go into recents. Um, so these are just different areas in the, in the neighborhood. Or you can go to bookmarks. I don't have any bookmarks saved. Um, but that's pretty much it for this section under bookmarks. Pretty straightforward. You can enter your address or a location. Let's So let's say Empire State Building kind of came up for me. Dropped it right there. Put it right there on the map and click on hybrid and so you can see in New York there there's traffic's bad so actually you haven't been able to see that yet it's pulling up for you um, as long as my internet's taking its sweet time um, but it should pop up for you yeah there it goes so as you can see traffic goes crazy I'm using two fingers right now to turn the map so you can adjust it um, another cool thing they added in iOS 7 is the is the compass see the compass right under there in the bookmarks you can click that and it will straighten you out to actual due north um, so there once again see how it's the north is pointed to the right click that again it will line you back up um, so the Empire State Building you click directions and it's going to give you directions to that so the first one left is car if you're driving walking so for me in Colorado to walk to the Empire State Building and if I got that route, oh, it's not going to give me directions because it's too far. But if I click that again, oops, hit directions, driving to this location. I click the blue spot right there, and it's going to give me driving, driving directions to, so it says it's 1,700 miles, or almost 1,800, and it gives you three different choices. Um, this one's a day in four hours, this one's a day in five hours, so they're all roughly about the same. Um, see how they, and it tells you if it requires a toll or not, which is con convenient. Um, but you can go ahead and start, and then we'll go ahead and Starting route to Empire State Building, head east on West 39th Avenue, then turn right onto Zuni Street. Yeah, so it's just going to give you directions as you go through everything. So you can click on Overview, and once again it's going to give you a, all the different things. Um, oops. And that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and click end on there. Go back here. Just I'm double tapping right now. Or you can pinch to zoom out or pinch and spread. And that will give you, it's going to take a little bit to load this. But um, as you can see, it starts populating the icons on there. 
um, which is pretty cool. So let's click that icon. So that's the United Nations. It's got a lot of cool, little cool things. The Chrysler Building. There's the Empire State Building. As you can see, these little logos stand for each little thing. That thing just shows you road closures, um, the United Nations building. I'm going to just keep double tapping. Let's see what this little thing means. It shows there's uh, road work at the Lincoln Tunnel, it looks like. Um, we'll go ahead and click on the 3D section, which is definitely a, a really cool feature of Apple Maps. And so that gives you a cool 3D, so you can do a little bird's eye view of downtown uh, New York. So pretty cool. Uh, definitely really cool feature of, to say the least, um, that Apple Maps offers. So um, that's pretty much it for the maps. Uh, really cool, straightforward. And once again, you can click back that and it'll bring you all the way back home. So uh, if you guys got any questions or want to need a little bit more help explaining something, uh, feel free to email us, info at yourmachelpers.com or uh, shoot us a message on Facebook, post on our wall, uh, shoot us a Twitter, all that good stuff. So if you got any questions, you know what to do. Thank you very much.